Otani on first base, stuck on 58 steals, addicted to stealing, says Barnes, go. Hey, run. Take third. I want 59. And then get out on purpose. Give me 60. Run, 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 run. Come on, Barnes. Do it. And then first pitch from the new pitcher. They're off and safe. But it was close. <laughs> Show is like, my bad. So we go from double steal into double header. Jake with the sports. Zach Kim, how about it? We've got a special one in baseball today. Playoffs are here. And you got even a bonus playoff series. The Mets and the Braves. Team it up for two it's monday we don't know what's gonna happen as we record this but we you've got a good lean right here's what's gonna happen swelling back for the braves is gonna go seven strong mets win game one lindor homer nimmo homer braves win game two the team celebrate together they put the clubhouses one giant room there's a picture on the field both teams in t-shirts celebrating d-backs crying in the background Jim, that was a lot of sports, but how about this almost a breakdown from the world of sports? Almost a breakdown. We've got ourselves a collision. Male cheerleader. Name unknown. Redacted. Back handspring, back handspring, back handspring, back handspring. Oklahoma U. Oklahoma U, they're calling them now. Yeah. Oklahoma U. U! Their players are running on the field. A lot of them, like number 40, starts pulling back. I'll start pulling back. A couple people dodged yeah, this. Yeah, but our guy, number eight, Makari Seatbelt Vickers. Nine and a half, yeah. Makari Vicker. And then the nickname Seatbelt. It's awesome. He's blinded. He's looking at the crowd. He's blinded. He's going to be an acrobat. All of his teammates are running to his left. Back handspring guy, like, somehow, like, he's, he, how could he expect that? Right. That he would get through the whole rest of the team unscathed right. and still have power. He has a helmet on and a lot of equipment. The cheerleader does none. I think the cheerleader goes, like, head back into his it's helmet. It's close. It's tight. You'd like to think he kind of lands in his shoulder area, but... Uh, it, everyone was okay. Who's at fault? The back handspringer. Right. Sure. <laughs> seems like an ill what time. What are you doing? Seems like not the right time to be doing that. He can't see without his glasses. Let's go back to the more sports, Jake. But first, more words Draft from Kings. DraftKings. A chill is in the air. Leaves falling to the ground. And football every weekend. That's what fall is all about. You can make each weekend even more exciting by getting into the action with our partners at DraftKings, the number one place to bet touchdowns. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get $200 in bonus bets when you use code DUMB. <laughs> so download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Fast kind of slow guy. It's rhythm. It's tempo. It's music. Jim Rodeo in Massachusetts. Say quoi? It's like a sports circus comes to town. Eight bulls escaped. They finally collected the last one. They caught six of these little fuckers. Ah, real quick. Real Make man, quick. little fucker. Ah. <laughs> Dusty oh, Baker. Double beep. I like the last one uh, because they kind of stayed in a pack. This one went for it. He, Lone bull. He tried to escape. They said cruisers followed the bull from Walmart as it galloped towards Spirit Halloween. Through the woods to Old Post Road. It's like, what are we, advertising the town? Spirit Halloween didn't need to be mentioned. Yeah, because that's like a temporary store. This is what the rodeo needs to do. Like, mm. if your rodeo isn't letting bulls Make loose, it real. and you want people to come back next year, you gotta let some animals loose because they got, like, cop cars chase them, but they had the cowboys on the horses wrangling the bulls that's the rodeo this is a rodeo this isn't stage but was it i just like how sad this bull looks that's part of the reason i picked it zach likes sad animals and this bull is just sad and i don't know if that's their natural state or if that's because they got they got clear that up. zach likes sad and zach lonely like animals. sad and lonely animals as he is one <laughs> okay <laughs> I think the bull was lonely because it got separated. It really wanted to go back to its friends. You think this was its, like, run away from home? And then it was like, I fucking hate this. Why do I live in Massachusetts? I'm a bull. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was excited to go to the Spirit Halloween. <sighs> it's just an ad. Jim, tell them about the not sports. Oh. A sewage pipe burst in China and sent poop sky high. So there's a word I'm not too familiar with, but I know globe... 
globules, <laughs> globules, 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 globules of human waste splattered over windshields and a number of unfortunate passing pedestrians. Now you're picturing a poop explosion. You're not picturing what happened here. It's volcano s. It's like a bomb <laughs> explosion. It's high in the sky. The poop is hot. We were nervous about this because we were going to be like, okay, if there's a lot of poop exploding and there's like sad people, this is going to be a tough scene. The explosion is badass. It's like a movie explosion, but nobody gets hurt. We like that. And then you get a car cam and that car just gets covered in feces. Globules. Globules of feces. You're like, oh, okay, it's liquid. Oh, is that going to be a big poop? And then as more hits the windshield, you're like, oh, that's all shit. Yeah, it's like turds. It's like, yeah. Like turds. Pretty gross. The septic plant or tank in my town of Livermore, California, back in 2006, 2007, whatever it was, mm. like exploded. And that whole... I think it was 2006. That whole part of town smelled like shit. They had to like pay the houses and the residents there and all the restaurants. I start, I ended up working in that plaza. And every time I drove past it, I still was like, that shit. That's also a little mental too at a certain point. If you smell poop in that area, whenever you show up there. Smell goes through your nose. The senses. And there's the a memory gland in like your nose too or some shit like that. Or they share the same area of your brain. Smell memory. That's why it's so much such a thing. So that stinks for all the Chinese people that were driving and got uh, shit, shit rained down on them. Things falling from the sky and you slowly realizing what it is. Like that video when they blew up the whale. Pretty cool. Aww. I've been Jimmy. He's been Jake. You've been dumb. Thanks for watching. That was a weekly dumb. Here's what's going to happen. Schwellenbach is going to go seven strong. Is that his name? It is. That's very specific. This is a very specific call. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a very specific. Okay. I, that's good. <laughs> do, do one specific right. one. But then do like... That could be great. It was going to get less specific after Schwellenbach. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is there a podcast on Spirit Halloween's business model? I'd listen. Definitely. All right. It's probably a YouTube video essay. Zach chimes in. Death is certain. We'll be back next week.